Hey guys, Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be talking about a secret treasure hunt that has a lot of interesting twists and surprises. So this is one of the most fun things that I have done in Red Dead Redemption 2, and the reward at the end was quite satisfying. So in order to get this treasure hunt started, you're actually going to need to go to both ends of the map. This is going to have you traveling quite a bit. Our first location is going to be in a cabin just to the northeast of Ansberg. I think it's officially called Manito Glade. So essentially you're going to be looking for this little cabin and if you've never been here before you are in for quite the surprise. Now when I was riding here there was this body hanging from a tree and I didn't know if this was connected to it in any way shape or form. Probably not, probably just a coincidence but it freaked me out because I was kind of just riding without paying attention and then all of a sudden this body is hanging from a tree. But anyways, you're going to encounter this man who is not very happy with you encroaching on his property. And I ended up lassoing him as soon as I saw him and I noticed that this guy's name was Hermit. So I figured he had to be a special character in some way, shape, or form. But I wanted to go inside of his house and I wanted to search and the first drawer that I ended up searching, I found torn treasure map part one so it looks like we are on a little bit of a treasure hunt here so that is pretty cool so i ended up killing hermit and we got another surprise as well this guy has a rare shotgun as you guys can see my compendium was updated with a rare double barrel shotgun that's kind of neat that's one of the surprises today so it's a rare double-barreled shotgun with a faded brash tarnish and adorned with carvings previously owned and cherished by a lonely woodsman living in solitude amongst the trees and wildlife of Roanoke Ridge. This gun has ammo capacity of two rounds and can use regular buckshot, incendiary buckshot, slug, and explosive slug shotgun ammo. So that's pretty awesome. We found ourselves another rare weapon, but we've also got a treasure hunt to get ourselves on as well. And this is what the first part of the map looks like. Doesn't really give away anything too particular in my opinion, but it definitely looks like there's more parts to this, obviously. So where are we going to find part number two of this? Well, we found this first part at the hermit's house. I think it's only fair if we find this at another hermit's house. So for this part of the treasure map, we are traveling to the far west side of the map. We are actually going to be above strawberry and above big valley as you guys can see here it's like literally one of the most furthest east points on the map without going into new austin and we need to look for this hermit lady now the first time i ended up coming to this hermit lady's house she acted the same way as her male counterpart did not want any trespassers on her land and uh, i ended up hog tying her the same way because maybe she had something similar and her vicious attack dogs ended up killing me so I ended up dying the first time, which was quite the experience. So I had to go back. And uh, when I went back, no one was there. So I assumed that everything was still good to go. And I inspected the area, figured out what this site was. And then I also ended up searching her bedside table or nightstand. And I found what looks to be the second part of our map today. Torn Treasure Map Part 2. When you put the two maps together, it looks as if it's telling us to go sort of towards the edge of the map. From what I can gather, it looks like it's telling us a cliff is nearby, and then it creates the mended map. So now we just need to find out where this location is and where it's going to be taking us. And for that, we need to travel to New Austin. So that means in order for you guys to complete this for yourself, you're going to need to be in the epilogue. So I'm pretty sure you can find the torn pieces of the treasure map at any time since they're in the beginning part of the map. But if you find them, you might just have to wait on collecting your treasure till you've unlocked the epilogue because it looks like we are definitely going to be heading to New Austin. And we essentially just want to head towards the very edge of the cliff. And I had a hard time finding this at first because there's a lot of little like pockets in the cliff that I kept running into and I was you know telling myself you know I keep running into these pockets but I'm not finding anything you know where's this treasure going to be located and I eventually found one with a box on the inside 
and it looks like that is definitely our location today. So there's nothing else inside of this cave other than a chest, and let's go ahead and open the chest right now, and there's actually six things that we can collect one of which is a golden revolver, which looks amazing. And as you guys can see there, there also looks to be some erotic photographs too. This guy has five erotic photographs that we can, for whatever reason, take as well. Now, there's a couple of other things in here as well that we simply cannot grab. Looks like it's like a knife holster. Um, looks like it's the stock of a gun. Uh, it looks like there's arrows and stuff like that, shotgun shells. We can only take the revolver, and we can only take the exotic photographs as well. So the official location of where we are located right now is at Rattlesnake Hollow, which is right above the S in Chola Springs. So again, if you're looking to go here for yourself, uh, this is where you're going to ultimately find it. And uh, this is pretty interesting. So let's start with the revolver first. This is the long lost treasure of Otis Miller which is apparently an old gunslinger because this is his revolver right here, which is a beautiful weapon. It is all gold. It is engraved. The handle is white with sort of this like gold medallion on there. And on the other side of the weapon, it actually has Otis Miller sort of engraved on the barrel. And it looks like it also has Otis Miller engraved on the handle as well. So this is a really neat revolver. Like, yes, you can paint guns gold in this game, but this, I think, is one of the few gold weapons that you'll actually find by default in the world. So this is going to become one of my most favorite sidearms in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now let's get on to the stuff you guys are probably interested in, the erotic photographs. The descriptions are a photo of a scantily clad woman. Now there's five of them in here, and none of them have a name or a description. They're just erotic photographs that apparently uh, Otis Miller had and that he was saving. We don't get any details on the description of the ladies or who they were or what they meant to him. And I'm not sure if they can be found within the world of Red Dead Redemption 2. I'd find it unlikely, but it's Rockstar. You never know. Uh, there's also no way to interact with the photos if you were curious about that. And what's also kind of funny is I tried to bring this to a fence and there was no way to sell them either. Apparently, these erotic photographs are worth absolutely nothing. I couldn't even sell them for a couple of cents. So they're worthless in that category. But, you know, now you can keep them in your satchel uh, for whatever you want to do. Now, a couple of other things as well. I don't know if this was just coincidence or if this does happen here. There was like a little camp directly to the left of me. And this camp just happened to have the rarest horse in the game, the splashed white American paint, just chilling at it. So once again, I'm not sure if that was a coincidence or if this is indeed located here because of the treasure hunt that I was on, but it was just another cool sight. I, I wasn't interested in the horse because, you know, I've already caught one before and it's not that great of a horse statistically, but uh, it was just another cool element to this treasure hunt. So recapping, what did this treasure hunt allow us to do? Well, we ended up getting two rare weapons for the price of one because by defeating that hermit, we ended up getting a rare shotgun. We ended up getting Otis Miller's revolver. We went on a crazy treasure hunt and ended up finding a lost chest in a cave in the desert with his revolver and five erotic photographs, which is one of the more interesting surprises you'll find in a treasure hunt. So as always, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What do you think of this treasure hunt? Is this the best one in Red Dead Redemption 2? Not only based off of what you get, but the journey it takes you on. And also, have you tried to complete this treasure hunt for yourself? Let me know in the comments down below. Were you surprised with what you found in Otis Miller's chest? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.